Welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is all about history of logic. What do you mean or how you will define the term logic? The term logic came from the Greek words logos which is sometimes translated as sentence, discourse, reason, rule, and ratio. Logic was studied in several ancient civilizations including in India, China, Persia, and Greece. In the West, logic was established as a formal discipline by Aristotle who gave it fundamental place in philosophy. In the East, logic was developed by Buddhist. Definition of logic Logic is the systematic process of valid reasoning through inference deriving. Conclusion from information that is known to be true. It is the area of philosophy that is concerned with the laws of valid reasoning. Types of logic A formal logic it is mainly concerned with a formal system of logic. These are specially constructed systems for carrying out proofs where the languages and rules of reasoning are precisely and carefully defined. Reasons for studying formal logic Number one reason it helps us to identify patterns of good reasoning and patterns of bad reasoning so we know which to follow and which to avoid. Help improve critical thinking. It also used by linguists to study natural languages. Computer scientists also employ formal system of logic relating to artificial intelligence. Informal logic. The term informal logic is often used to mean the same thing as critical thinking. Sometimes it is used to refer to the study of reasoning and fallacies in the context of everyday life. Symbolic logic. Symbolic logic is the method of representing logical expression through the use of symbols and variables. The importance of logic A study of logic can help a person better construct their own arguments and critique the arguments of others. It isn't uncommon for many popular arguments to be filled with errors and fallacies because so many people are simply unaware of how arguments are correctly formed. The two main methods of reasoning are called deduction and induction. Deduction, it works from general to more specific. In deduction, the conclusion is logically follows from premises. It is necessary conclusion and is true. Example of deductive logic, all squares are rectangles. All rectangles have four sides. Logic therefore tells you that the squares have four sides. It is dangerous to drive when it is snowing. It is snowing now. Logic tells you that it would be dangerous to drive right now. When it rains, the trees get wet. The trees are wet this morning. So it rained last night. Induction where induction moves from specific to the general. In induction, the conclusion probably follows the premises and is not necessary, necessarily true. Examples of inductive logic. Every three-year-old you see at the park every afternoon spend most of their time crying and screaming. Your conclusion is that all three-year-olds spend their afternoon screaming. Every house that burned down on the block was caused by faulty wiring. Your conclusion is that all homes on the block have faulty uh, or have faulty wiring. Inductive reasoning. 
inductive reasoning works the opposite way moving from specific observations to broader generalization and theories and this is sometimes called a bottom-up approach the researchers begin with a specific observation and measures begins to then detect patterns and regularities formulate some tentative hypothesis to explore and finally ends up developing some general conclusion or theories for example an, exa an example of inductive reasoning can be seen in this set of statements today i left for work at eight o'clock and I arrive on time. Therefore, every day I leave the house at 8 o'clock, I will arrive to work on time. Deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning happens when a researchers work from the more general, general information to the more specific. Sometimes this is called the top-down approach because the researcher starts at the top with a very broad spectrum of information and they work their way down to a specific conclusion. Example, every day I leave for work in my car at 8 o'clock. Every day the drive to work takes 45 minutes. I arrive to work on time. Therefore, if I leave at work at 8 o'clock today, I will be on time. Conclusion As this example show, you can use logic to solve problems and to draw conclusions. Sometimes those conclusions are correct conclusions and sometimes they are inaccurate. When you use deductive reasoning, you arrive at a correct logical arguments while inductive reasoning may or may not provide you with a correct outcome okay guys thank you and don't forget there are questions to answer at the end of this video okay class these are the questions that you should answer on a sheet of bun paper send your soft copy or the jpeg to our gmail make that to our google email and kept the hard copy compiled it on brown envelope and that will be collected before finals okay so these are some famous questions or frequently asked questions by people about logic so number one question is what are some examples of logic questions well if you are confused of the question let me show you a very quick window to the answer so there are 12 logical reasoning questions that you have stumped in no time number two question what are the logical reasoning questions again this is a very complicated question so uh, i will show you windows or snippet to the answer that is the answer a logical reasoning test measures your ability aptitude to reason logically okay so those are bonus guys but anyway you can search your answer on the internet okay so let's continue on the questions at number three how can i test my logical thinking number four what is a logic quiz five what are some tricky questions to ask six what is logic in simple words seven what are the four types of reasoning eight how do you answer logic questions nine what are the types of logical reasoning 10. How many types of logical reasoning questions are there? 
Okay, just answer 10 questions out from 11. And don't forget to make comments on every video in our YouTube channel that will serve as your attendance, okay? So I'll see you on our next topic right here in this channel. Bye for now.